Hello, Virgo. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. You know, a little look see at love right here. I just saw that Ace of Wands. Somebody may want a passionate new beginning. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, I, you know, I wanted to remind you all my videos are time stamped. You can go right on ahead uh, to the uh, reading if you want to take a look what that Ace of Wands is about. Something, something, there's a passionate offer. The only problem with that Ace of Wands, you know, is it can go out just as fast as it can show up. Anyway. Thanks for tuning in one more time. <clears throat> I want to thank you for all your likes, all your subscribes. Definitely want to thank you for taking a minute and hitting that. Yeah, let's see what Mike has to say button right over there. Thank you for the view. Definitely want to thank all my Virgos that have blessed me with donations. Many of you. So very, very kind of you, my friends. I appreciate them all, large or small. Virgo, if you bless me with a donation, thank you. And of course, a big shout out and thank you to all my Ramblin' Nation members. I love you guys. Thank you for your continued support. I have a couple decks right here um, that I want to show uh, members of Ramblin' Nation uh, what we give away uh, in the upcoming month right here of May. In the May, I, I have two channels, Ramblin' Mike's Tarot, and then I have a membership channel. Had it for a year now, more than a year. I call it Ramblin' Nation. Every Wednesday night, we do live broadcasts over there. We give away tarot decks and t-shirts. We read cards every Saturday night, more tarot decks, t-shirts, live broadcast. Uh, Saturday nights, I teach on the tarot. And then uh, every Sunday is Sunday Funday over there at Ramblin' Nation. Now, from the very beginning of Ramblin' Mike's Tarot, I've always done bi-weeklies. And then in between the bi-weeklies, I've done Sunday Fundays. And that's always been and that always will be. But every other Sunday be it two, sometimes three extra Sundays in a month. I'm over there at Ramblin' Nation playing tarot cards over there every Sunday night. So if you've been thinking about becoming a member, love to have you. Uh, that join button is right beside the subscription button. And I will see many of you Wednesdays, Saturdays, and many, many Sundays. Now, Virgo, before I get to your cards right here and see what that Ace of Wands is about, uh, I want to tell you about my new website that I've had up. I have been quite busy with two channels and working on a, a website here. It's called DivinelyLoveTarot.com. And DivinelyLoveTarot.com has uh, tarot card readers. It has energy healers over there. Uh, it also has lots of um, teachings or courses, modules on, uh, on the Twin Flame journey, on loving yourself first, oodles and oodles of amazing stuff over there. And uh, last but not least, I've been working on a tarot deck. I have two cards completed, the star card and the old fire pony. And uh, you can see those pictures over there on the website. And as that deck develops, we'll put more and more of that up. <sighs> Enjoy. Let's do it. Virgo. Thanks for giving me a minute right there. Let's take a little look. See, I'd love for Virgo here. Got an Ace of Wands that showed up, you know. Not my, not not really my favorite card. Well, I got a fool. I saw a fool. Somebody, somebody's jumping for Virgo. I'm not getting a good vibe off this. Let's we'll see. A fiery, passionate, wanded fool. Supposed to jump towards my Virgo. Now, let's see where we go right here. I'm going to tune in. Hey, Tara, we love Team Virgo's here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. I'm Virgo seeing here what they need out of this reading today. Yeah, the moon. Secrets. Smoky Trail. Anyway, love team, let's take all these amazing pictures right here and put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Virgo's highest good. Thank you so very much for that, love team. I cannot do this without you. Uh, let's do a Celtic cross. We'll peel them off the top. Clarify them with the witches, all that fun stuff. Thank you, love team. Here we go. Virgo cutting the deck. Going to peel them off the top. Here we go. Well, I got a Ten of Pentacles right in the middle of the spread. You know, that is the uh, promise of the quintessential universal dream. The little white picket fence, the big pink house, the loving couple. You see them up there and the wisdom of the years. The babies, the bliss, the loyalty, the money in the bank. It's right here in the middle of your heartbeat of the Celtic cross, Ten of Pentacles. 
Ace of Wands, could it go to Ten of Pentacles that fast? Let's see what crosses over top of it here. I have my Nine of Pentacles individual. Yeah, here's Virgo. This is my independent, self-assured, confident business person. That would be, you know, this is somebody that is complete within themselves. Minor Arcana Empress to me. If this is you, Virgo, amazing. Right here, right now. You know, this, this person doesn't need anybody. Somebody, you know, this person probably already lives in this world. They're probably looking for that one right there to fit this perfect coin, right? The one that fits in the Nine of Pentacles world right here. So, you know, it says I'm looking for the right fit. And there was an Ace of Wands that showed up right there. So, going to have an opportunity to take a look from what I see so far right here, Virgo. You know what you want is what I got right there in the heartbeat of the Celtic Cross. Base of the spread, here we go. Yep, an offer. The Princess of Pentacles coming in, and there's lots of coins. See, this would be somebody that says... Virgo, I have the coin that fits in your world that would make Ten of Pentacles for us. And I got a sunrise here, so it may be somebody you know. It's a princess. This would be somebody that's planning every word that they're going to speak to my Virgo. Maybe about a career opportunity. But really... They, they're offering the, the, the words, the plan. Oh, the plan. That Virgo would want to hear. Here we go. Let's, with one card, see what your friend, this one right here, is thinking and feeling about Virgo. Nine cups. It would say that um, you're their wish fulfillment. I wish it was the ten cup. Because they want ten pinnacle. They want my nine of pinnacle individual. My only problem with nine cup is that it is not ten cup. And generally that's because this individual right here has that tenth cup hidden behind one of those curtains right there. And, um, you know, it could be indulgence, right? This guy looks a little um, prideful. I'm just reading cards here. They're good cards. It appears to me that somebody uh, really wants to put on the good show. They're amazing cards. I'm not sure why I'm feeling this. I just follow my intuition when I read cards. Let's see what crowns the spread. We got a lot of cards coming out. So far they look good. And it says to me that they're planning to shine. But I don't know if they're bringing that 10th cup in. If you're looking for the, for the cup, the 10th cup. Here we go. A lot of cards, Virgo. Crown in the spread. Well, it shows me that you are the Empress. Who doesn't want to catch the Empress, right? And she crowns the spread, you know, an opportunity for new love, an opportunity for new abundance. Crowns the spread looks really good. I just didn't like that Ace of Wands. Here we go. Near future. Chariot. Uh, they make uh, just come in like a whirlwind for you. I got cancer energy right here. First major arcana. Well, second major. Uh, the empress is uh, uh, Taurus, Libra, Aries. May mean something to you, may not. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. I got another major arcana, right? The chariot. The wild pony journey right here. But you know, this card is about um, <clears throat> this card is about being tuned in, tapped in, and turned on to the divine. See him? He's all lit up. He's definitely coming out of his comfort zone right here, splashing through all these emotions of life, right? And this is about driving the chariot exactly where you want it to go, because I see you already as a princess or uh, my nine of pentacles princess. And I only see this princess right here with one little coin that they're going to offer for the empress. And they're going to put on the shine in the show. And they're going to come charging in. Maybe they're going to take you out on the town. Whatever. They're going to show off is what I'm seeing right here and feeling. 
Let's see how Virgo thinks and feels about themselves right here, right now. The lovers. Oh, there's a oh, there's a choice. Oh, there's a connection here, no doubt about it. It's the lovers. Gemini has showed up here. Major Arcana may mean something, may not. Um, the lovers is a choice too. Ain't that interesting? Yeah, the wild ponies, the lovers showing up. There's a strong connection here, no doubt about it. Probably somebody from the past. It doesn't appear that it is not. This does not appear new. The lovers. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Definitely clarifying all this. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm telling you. The star came. This, I don't know, I, I, I can't wait to clarify it. These are all just sparkling like the sun. This could be like them offering you the dream. But the lovers is here. And you know, the lovers is a major arcana about choices. Do I want this lover? Do I want another lover? Star as an exterior influence. I'm going to give you a hope and a dream. Wow. See? Five of Wands in the fierce position. I don't want no fighting. I don't want no arguing. I don't want no possible competition with other people. I felt it the whole time. It's like, uh, it's like uh, you know, all the world's a stage. And Virgo's hip on it. <laughs> Overall weather, four of pinnacles. The old miser showing up right here. Looks like they're showing off here a little bit to me. This person may only have four pinnacles, but it looks like they want to dive into a world where there's ten. Oh, well, Mike, it says to me that they've been holding on to you with the heart chakra since you probably shut the door on them. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Wheel of Fortune came out. Wow, a major arcana, a major life force. It is an omen of good luck and good fortune, and it appears to me that that's what they want to show you. I don't know why Five of Wands and Four Pentacles came out. Oh, the Lovers is here. Yeah, Virgo, looking at all this. Wow, what's up with you? Wow, change with you. Hmm, or maybe not. Maybe the Ace of Wands has showed up and gone out before. But the wheel talks with me about cycles in life and looking at cycles in life, you know. And do I want to hit a skip one more time is really what I'm feeling with this. Because this person's coming in with the shine. But really, I only see four pinnacles right there, just reading cards. And this is about, do I want to ascend to another level? Do I want to pursue my star? Whatever that may be, because you're really close with nine pinnacles sitting on ten pinnacles. I only see somebody coming in here and offering you the nine cups, and that's probably what they've all done before. The lovers is here, uh, and they're on the opposite sides of the card, right? One's force is burning up over there. Uh, the other one's leaning up against the old apple tree being all seductive, right? It's the lovers. What's, you know, Crowley, you know, that's a challenging card. I, I, I like all the tarot readers. It's going to be real flippant with that. So this is a real, there's a soulmate bond here, but I, I, I'm not hip. And this is about, do I want to go through a skip or do I want to ascend higher? Because there may be a star out there for you. Let's clarify all this. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Look at that. She knows her worth, right? Knowing that you're the catch. No, grounded, balanced, stable, loving, generous, kind. Have the Midas touch themselves. They don't need any. I'm telling you, this is a Virgo that doesn't need. This is why this show is going to be performed for you. Maybe because they want to do the same thing. I don't know. Are you right? Get your heart chakra connected to them and then shut the door. They probably done it before. 
whatever this journey is about, it's about Virgo knowing their worth, knowing that you are the catch. No more competition. You see, that's fear of competition. The, the, the Empress, she doesn't fear that. She knows her worth. It's all right here. It's amazing. Let's see what's under this. Oh, I have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, man. Uh, they definitely, definitely want to play for keeps right here. But I don't know if it's good keeps. Again, I don't like that five wands. I don't like that. And that and that wheel for me means that you could be looking at a skip. But they want to play for keeps, man. And you know the problem with these two is there's where's the cups? It's all about the coins. All about the coin. I'm just reading cards. That's what they want. Hold it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got Lover's card right here. I got a different face card right here. Oh. What's this about? King of Swords. Now, if that's not a different person, because it's right here in the wheel. And, oh, and the star. Look, that's Aquarius to me. Anyway. Somebody different here, huh? Interesting. And, but King of Swords can be about, you know, clear, honest communication. The sword has, the sword is raised. It's like uh, Virgo is prepared to drop this sword. But I did get a couple of face cards right here. Just saying. And the lovers. Here we go. Maybe that'll show up in here. Because I do believe you need an option. You, <laughs> you need to go to the star. This person's going to represent that they are the star. I don't feel it. They're showing up as four pentacles. Let's clarify all this shine right here for Virgo. Here we go. Let's play with the witch's tail right here, love team. Thank you so very much. Here we go. Here we go. Virgo. Vir King of Wands. Well, not my favorite king. <laughs> Entrepreneur energy. Fiery, good looking, charismatic. May have other people in their back pocket. King of Wands showed up here. This is somebody that goes and gets what they want. They can be <laughs> aggressive at it. Uh huh. Huh. Justice was under that. Wow. All right. All right. All right. Give me someone. <laughs> that king may get cut out, man. Here we go. Here we go. I want to see where this is going for Virgo, because you know I don't. I don't trust this. Even though it shines, man. Here we go. Ten of Pentacles, nine Pentacles. Why is that in the middle of my Virgo spread? Thank you, love team. That's right. Three swords right there. The old heartbreaker soul shaker looks like they're back to me. Forewarned, forearmed, reading. Virgo, I'm shaking these out. Are you ready? Here we go. Out, out, out. Out of Virgo's heart. Out. The Queen of Swords right there, which appears to me that you're going to listen to him. Hmm. Give me something on that Princess of Pentacles. There seems to be some kind of offer coming in that they want to be the King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. I don't like that Four Pentacles right there or that Five Wands. No thanks. Or that Three Swords. Yep. Ten Wands. They want to offer you a heavy burden. But Ten Wands says that Virgo ain't going to take it. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right. I like reads like this. All right. I'm starting to feel better here. Give me some on Nine Cups, Virgo. You know, the old bell ringer right there. Oh, the slow pony. Oh, I got a slow pony offer for you. It's full of it's full of wands. You're gonna dig it. No, it's really shiny and it's really bright. And I got a plan to like uh, you know hook up with this with you forever, and then you know I can go back to my old way. What? Give me some on this empress. La, help me, help Virgo. <laughs> Come on, give me something on my Empress right there. Oh, the Empress says, no thanks. If there's, if there's no emotion and there's no love here, 
I'm going to go out and find my own nine of cups, my own wish fulfillment. Like, okay. <laughs> I like it, Virgo. <laughs> and, and it also says that this person may have walked away from the empress at one time. How many times do you, how, how many chances do you get to, to, to catch an empress? Just saying. Chariot, here they come. Brum, 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 brum. <laughs> Virgo, Virgo, here come the wild ponies. I've been seeing you from afar. I've been a hoping and a praying. Yeah, boy, here we go. Mm. Waiting for the perfect moment. Waiting for the perfect moment. I know, I know, I know I broke your heart in the past. I've been waiting for the perfect moment to get in the chariot and come charging in here. Wow. <laughs> lovers, lovers. I, I, where'd that King of Swords go? Uh, the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Just saying, not for everybody, but there's a choice. It could be, do I would just want to play with this person or do I want to go catch my own star? What do we got there? Yeah, Nine Swords. Oh, 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 oh. Virgo, do you got somebody else on your mind? It's the lovers right there, right? And a king showed up. There's another king. And uh, it's air again. Um, and that, you know, it could be like, you know, the widows, the kudos, the shittos. Wow. But look what's on the bottom of that, Virgo. If there is a choice, and this definitely appears to be, well, you know, it is what it is. It's the great show. I got eight wands under that, um, which is, you know, passionate communication about somebody that you're losing sleep about. And the what is the kudos? I'm going to put that right there, Virgo. It may mean something. Oh, for Ace of Cups. For a new love. I don't think, I don't think Virgo's going to buy this. Dare I say again? What's this over here? What are you losing sleep about? I need to talk with somebody about an ace of cups. I'm putting that right there. I'm not sure what that's about. We're going to play with a star right there. Let's get the star to come in here for Virgo because the star doesn't show up unless you've been through hellfire. And as pretty as this, it, seven of swords right there. Seven of swords. That's all sneaky. You know, this is somebody with a broken heart. They came in with a broken heart. Looks like they shared it with Virgo right here. That generally this person's got a broken heart because they got two swords over the other shoulder because they lived in the land of indecision for far too long. And then they're generally looking over at the shoulder of the two swords that they left in the camp. It's pretty clear to me. One thing's for sure, you know, this is my liar cheater card. One thing's for sure, if you're dealing with a liar, you're going to get lied to. Star card, please. Star, see, that, that, that seven of swords should have come out on that star. So the star that they're promising you, I've been, I, from the very first, and it was challenging for me with all these shiny cards coming out, but I, I get into the zone, and I got a bunch of Virgo on me right now. Thank you. Wisdom. Here we go. Give me something on that star, this promised star right here. I already got seven of swords, but there may be another star. It's right here under the lovers, or it's right above the lovers. So I saw that this was seven of swords. Let me see what your potential star is about, if it lines up with this. All right? Not for everybody, but definitely for a Virgo right here that's... Got the lovers, right? The choice. This person probably don't know anything about it because I'm just finding out about it. Wow, the second one came out with the Hierophant. <laughs> You're right, that's the Pope of the Tarot deck, a major arcana on top of the star, a very spiritual connection with somebody, to say the very least. Uh, somebody with the, the keys. These two have the keys to unlock different things in their lives. Who's this, Virgo? Who's this that you're worry warting about? Did I blow it? You, somebody's going to get brave and pick up the phone and talk about an ace of cups. 
Back to this story. Although I like this story right here because it's got the star and the hair fat. Too many crickets. It's almost like somebody appears to give you this kind of shiny destiny call, but it appears to be just a little thing right over here that Virgo may already know about. A test? Come on, five of wands. I'm just leaving that star and that hair fan alone. I got the star and seven swords over here. I got the star and hair fan right here. Just saying, Virgo. Here we go. Five of wands. I don't want no more competition. I don't want to fight. I don't want to argue anymore. I want to be the queen of pentacles that I am. I want to find the right one. Well, who's this? Just saying. Four of Pentacles, weather overall. The miser. The miser. Give me some on that miser. I got six of cups. Again, this connection isn't new at all. This one may be relatively new, maybe starting to birth where this one came in. And it appears to me it's trying to, these are majors, the lovers, the star, the hierophant, the ace of cups, eight of wands, and worry warting about all that because of this. Wow. Oh, well, there's the high priestess. And she says, Virgo, you know which way to go. Wow. Give me a love card on this for Virgo. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, love cards. Here we go. Look at this. I got give this relationship a chance. And it appears to me that Virgo is going to give this relationship a chance. But you know what Ramblin wants to say? If you know what this is about right over here, I want to put this card right over here. Give this a chance. I'm going to put that right over there. Because you, Virgo is going to give this a chance. Mike says that you're going to, you know, <laughs> go find your ninth cup of wish fulfillment. What's that? Wow. There's that, there's that cup that they've been hiding from you over here. It's right here. Wow. Love cards, Virgo. Look at this. Getting to know each other. See, these two already know each other. This is nice. This is talking about this right here, Virgo. This just came out of the blue in this corner of the spread. Really nice. It, it says that you're making a choice between lovers. This person may not know that, huh? <laughs> That's <laughs> just coming in with the shine, man. I, red flag on that, Virgo. Okay. I'm focused right here. Getting to know each other. Give this relationship a chance. It's nice, man. It says get out of worry warden and pick up the phone or something. <laughs> All right. One more love card here for Virgo. Virgo. Here we go. Oh, wow. Past life relationship. Uh, Definitely over here with six cups. Probably cleared some karma or whatever that was about. I don't know. So this amazing door can open up over here. This may be a past life thing, too. The lovers is here as well. Wow. Virgo. <laughs> Stay optimistic, right? Look at this. All right. All right. All right. Uh, danger, Will Robinson. Danger right here. You know it. Major for Virgo. I got the sun. Again, it appears to me that Somebody wants to come in here and shine like the sun and convince you that they are the sun so that they can marry you and then go back to uh, the ways that they were. How about that? Wow. The sun. But I like the sun right over here too, right? It's the lovers. One of, one of these is the sun. I'm a, I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to put that right over here. It just feels like it belongs over here, Virgo. And uh, wow, the world card on the bottom of the deck. A major arcana about major life lessons in life. Old cycles ending. New cycles you know, have the potential to begin. It's about you seeing yourself as this golden angelic being. And you seeing the world as your oyster. <laughs> and ooh la la, here comes my pearl, a great prize. Wow. The lovers. And this is all on the lovers over here. <laughs> and victory after that. Here's the chariot. Here's the golden chariot. What? 
Oh, man, add strength from the universe for you. And I pray that as you, uh, you know, do what's best for you. Huh? Love it for you, Virgo. Kind of a challenging spread. A little bit of red flags. A little bit of silver lining over here. It's like pass the test. Silver lining. Don't you love tarot? I love you guys, Virgo. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon, Virgo. Bye for now.